Hey, hey, y'all, Val Sunshine from Crypto Shift Group, and I'm going to show you guys today how to import your trust wallet over to MetaMask. This will require a little bit of time and some steps. Grab a pen and paper, or maybe if you have an, <coughs> excuse me, an extra phone or a tablet or your computer, um, it's advisable because using QR codes when importing wallets and um transferring is so much easier but if you don't have access to that either way i'm going to show you guys how to do it there's a lot of videos online that show um, how to come into your wallet you go up here on the top left you go right here next to where it says account one with the arrow and go to import an account well this would mean that you need your private key string which is not something that trust wallet offers trust wallet offers you your 12 master encryption words your keywords there so you can't do it right here so a lot of times people are like i don't know what to do um so if you can do a qr code you can scan the qr code and whoops let me get off of here scan the qr code and it will automatically import it that way so if you have another phone or maybe when you saved your 12 words and wrote it down maybe you printed out the qr code and attached it you know with your written words and you have that in a safe place or um, you can print it out on your computer you know whichever way that you have access to get to the qr code but if you only have the phone like many people um, this is the way that you can do it you have to delete the wallet from MetaMask, which means if you have an account here on MetaMask already, you need to get your private key string. So when you import your trust wallet and then you want to bring your other wallets, the ones that you're about to delete, if you want to bring them back into MetaMask, you need to have that private key string. So I'm going to show you how to get to that first. So I'll go here. I'm in account one. I'm going to go to the menu. I'm going to go down to settings. And then here where it says security and privacy, I'm going to tap that, the second option. And I'm going to go to show private key for account one. Now this has nothing to do with Trust Wallet. This has everything to do with um, reactivating the, the wallet that I'm about to delete. This account one, I'm about to delete it. And then I'm going to want to bring it back uh, once I import my Trust Wallet. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to show private key. I have to enter my password here and then it was it's going to show me after that my private key um, write it down it's long or copy copy it and text it to yourself or you know I, I would I would recommend writing it down <clears throat> or just copying it and putting it on your clipboard if you know how to do that and access different things off your clipboard whichever way works best for you you know possibly writing it down double check triple check make sure that all of your letters and digits you know coincide with uh with what it shows here so once you write that down and you have your private key make sure you have your 12 words for your account as well <clears throat> now you'll go back to the menu you want to go to log out on the very bottom log out now i'm not going to log back in because it's just going to take me right back where we were where i don't have access to import with the 12 words it's only going to offer me to do the the private key string so i'm going to reset the wallet yes it says are you sure you want to erase the wallet if you have 12 words your wallet's good to go for forever you know i'm not erasing the wallet i'm not deleting those words from you know the the blockchain i'm not i'm not deleting that i'm just erasing it here from the wallet so I'm just going to say yes. I'm going to type the word delete. <clears throat> delete my wallet. Okay. So now that the wallet is deleted, it'll take it a second. All right. Now the home screen here is going to ask me if I want to import using my 12 seed words. Now we didn't have that option before. We only had the pri private key string. Or you can sync with the MetaMask extension. If you have the extension and you want it to ma match on your phone, you'll have to go into the MetaMask browser, go to settings, and then you have to go to sync with mobile, and you have to scan the QR code with your phone to the PC. That's the only way to sync the two together. So, <clears throat> excuse me, let me get a drink. 
So here we're going to import my Trust Wallet account over here. I'm going to import using my secret recovery phrase, but I need to go get it. So let me go over here to Trust Wallet. On the bottom right hand side, it says Wallets uh, or Settings. Click settings and then go to the top where it says wallets. Now, if you tap on the word, like I'm gonna use this wallet, the demo three, if you tap on it, it's just gonna open that wallet up. So what you need to do is you need to tap on the three dots to open up the menu of that wallet. So tap that. And now it's gonna um, probably black my screen out for privacy measures. So I'll just tell you guys what it says and walk you through it. So as the name of my wallet, show recovery phrase, copy address, shows my public, um, address my wallet address and now I'll just go show recovery phrase yes I understand and I'll click continue and now it will show me my 12 words it says copy you can click copy and it'll put it onto your clipboard and then you can go paste it or you can show QR code and at this point you could um, take a, a screenshot and print it out. You don't want to ever save your QR codes in your phone's gallery. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to just save it in your phone with a screenshot. You want to print it out and erase it or put it in the cloud or put it on an external hard drive, USB flash drive, or, you know, get a hard wallet, a cold, cold storage, but you don't want to just save it in your phone. So if you happen to screenshot and you have it saved, write it down, keep it on a piece of paper, keep it saved multiple places if necessary and then delete it from your phone so I'm gonna click copy now I'm gonna go back over to MetaMask I'm gonna import using seed recovery phrase and I'm going to paste it right here now you see right at the very end of all the dots it shows um, it probably it might be blacked out here actually so it says import from seed I pasted it in there and then it has a little square that shows that I could use the QR code so you could tap that and it would open your camera and you can scan it or you can just <clears throat> enter the the 12 words so I just pasted it there and now I'll create a password I'm just creating one for this demo and if you spell it wrong, you can click show and it will show you, you know, it doesn't have the dots. It's not blacked out. You can see because if they don't match, then you can't, um, then you can't import. The highlight uh, doesn't show up for import. So click import <clears throat> and then it will say, congratulations, you have imported your wallet. So now I'll click done. And now it will show me that I have account one. This is my Trust Wallet demo account that I just sent over. Now I want to reactivate the wallets that I already had on my app. So that that's the point where I can go to the menu, go to account one, and then I would do import an account. And this is where I would paste my private key string that I wrote down before I deleted the wallet. And it's long, you know, it's like a wallet address, it's long. Or if you printed out um, the QR code for that wallet before, you know, beforehand, um, then you would be able to do that as well. So you would just type in your key string or paste it in there and click import. And then you would end up with multiple wallets within your MetaMask uh, wallet. So here it would have more than one. It would have multiples of them listed. So if you guys have any questions, which you probably will, because this is a, I know that's a struggle for a lot of people. The, the videos online, they show it to be different. They show that you can import it with your seeds, but there's no option. I mean, you guys see it here. When you go to import an account, it says paste your private key string. There, you, you don't get there. There's no key string over on Trust Wallet. So this is the way that you need to do it. Um, if you guys find some value out of this, please give it a love, a like, a comment, share it with your friends. Let's get connected in the Crypto Shift group on Facebook, Telegram, Twitter, you know, all the things. Um, if you want to connect and you don't find my way, uh, just uh, send me a message and, um, and I'll send you my contact info and we'll get connected. So, all right, we'll go ahead and end this. It's a little longer than I expected it to be, but I want to make sure you guys uh, do all the steps correctly and understand why. That's the biggest thing is not just going through the steps and saying, oh, I need to do one, two, three, four. You need to understand why. So the logic's there when you get to the next step. It's a way of learning. We learn by doing and we grow through what we go through, right? 
All right, everybody, have a great day. Let me know if I can help. Take care.